Good evening, everyone, and a very warm welcome to this evening's event. My name is Denise from Restless, and we're delighted to be partnering with Wendy Wu Tours. As you know, this evening's event is all about Japan through the seasons. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy. And I'm going to hand you over to Andy and Kate from Wendy Wu Tours. Over to you, Andy and Kate. Thank you, Denise, and ladies and gentlemen, great to see you today, and welcome to this, our very special Restless and Wendy Wooters Japan Travel Show. It is so good to see you today, and thank you for taking the time out to join us. Now, on today's show, this is a very special show. We are taking you on a virtual journey around Japan. We're going to be going on a virtual trip on some of our most popular tours of Japan. Plus, of course, yes, today's show is all about the natural phenomena that is the Japan cherry blossom, and otherwise known as Sakura. Plus, of course, equally as extraordinary, equally as magnificent as Sakura are the Japan autumn leaves. And we're going to be taking you to show you the autumn colours as well. So ladies and gentlemen, lots to get through today. Like I say, great to see you. Do stick around until the end of today's show because at the end of the show, we're going to be inviting you to talk to our Japan travel experts who know absolutely everything about Japan. As Wendy Wooters are the UK's number one specialist travel company to Japan. So do stick around till the end of the show. And there you can ask any question that you want to ask, whether that be on traveling in Japan or on a traveling on an escorted tour. Our team are ready and they are waiting to see you at the end of the show. So now, ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined now by Kate Rowe, Head of Reservations and Operations here at Wendy Wu Tours. Kate, great to see you today. It's good to be here, Andy. Now, Kate, I know, and ladies and gentlemen, travel is back, things are getting busier. I bet it's getting pretty busy for you now at Wendy Wu Tours. It really is, and it's so fantastic, Andy. Travel is well and truly back. Um, lots of our borders are open, lots of our tours are operating and it's just been fantastic to actually be able to send people off on their long awaited adventures um, and of course when they get home be able to hear from them and hear about the fantastic experiences that they're having. So yeah we're really excited about the year ahead. Lovely. That's what we've all been waiting for, just get out there and travel again. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we're here today to celebrate Japan in our Japan Travel Show special and the amazing seasonal wonders, including the hugely popular Cherry Blossom. So, with Cherry Blossom blooming all over the UK as we speak, in fact, I saw lots of beautiful Cherry Blossoms coming into the studio today. So what better time than now to visit Japan and witness the amazing natural phenomena that is Sakura. Kate, I know Japan is very special to you. Um, in fact, you said earlier that it's one of the most captivating places on the planet. Now, I'm intrigued, having travelled the globe to many of Wendy Wooter's destinations, why is Japan so special to you? Well, you're right, Andy. It's uh, an incredible destination and we've really seen Japan continue to rise in popularity over the last few years. In fact, for the last 12 months, Japan has been our most booked destination month after month after month. Um, I think one of the things that makes Japan so unique is this incredible combination of the old and the new. Um, Japan is so advanced, has such incredible technology, it's so modern, and yet it also has this really well-preserved culture, um, fascinating traditions and customs, um, and uh, you know, a very long, interesting history. So I don't think there's anywhere else like it on the planet, Andy. Um, it has incredible food, very unique food experiences, um, in incredibly warm hospitality that people who, who travel with us are going to experience, and also incredible landscapes, you know, mountains, uh, volcanoes, wildlife. So um, yeah, I, I think it's an incredible destination, and um, yeah, we just can't wait to get people back out there to experience it for themselves. 
So Kate, we can see why Japan is so special to you. Um, it's absolutely clear how you, you love it so much. But I've got to ask you, Kate, why Sakura? I mean, isn't it the same as the cherry blossom that we see here in the UK? Well, Andy, the cherry blossom that we see here in the UK is beautiful. And I think we can all relate to seeing the blossom and, uh, you know, stopping to think about how beautiful it is. It gives you such hope and optimism because, you know, spring is here. Well, Japan just takes that to a completely different level. Um, imagine a whole country just swathed in cherry blossom. And for the people in Japan, um, cherry blossom isn't just about the beauty of the spectacle. It also holds a, really, a, a real deep meaning for them. So for them, the Sakura Festival is all about celebrating the beauty, but also the shortness of life and um, you know how the cherry blossom season only lasts for a maximum of about 10 days and that 10 days gives them that time to reflect on the, the beauty and yet the temporary nature of our lives. Oh, wow, what a fantastic time to be in Japan during the cherry blossom, the Sakura season. Now, Kate, Again, we're not able to experience cherry blossom this year. We are really gutted, ladies and gentlemen, I know. But as the rest of the world is reopening, am I right in thinking that Japan could also reopen this year? Absolutely. So um, Japan has already started its, its roadmap to reopening. So at the moment, the borders are open for business travellers, international students. And that's, you know, obviously a really positive sign. And it, it shows that progress and those steps that are being taken. So we are really confident that at some point over the next few months, we'll see that announcement, that confirmation that the borders will then open to fully vaccinated travellers too. Um, and yes, you're right, we're really disappointed that that didn't happen in time for the cherry blossom season, but we are really optimistic that um, Japan will open its borders in time for the autumn leaves. So the autumn leaves, Andy, uh, it's, it's perhaps not so well known as the cherry blossom in Japan, but it's an equally spectacular time to visit the country. So imagine all those trees that we've been talking about across the country but in the autumn as the leaves began begin to turn colour um, the whole country is just awash with beautiful reds and oranges and golds um, it, it's incredibly spectacular and it's also a slightly quieter time of course to visit Japan so um, definitely something for customers to consider um, who are looking to go to Japan this year. In fact Kate I've got to stop you we can see now this amazing picture behind us yeah. which, which clearly shows the colours you've been describing. It's, really beautiful, it's amazing. beautiful. and uh, incredibly photogenic mm. as well, right? Mm. Um, and then just a point on cherry blossom, of course, because Japan has had its international borders closed for several years, um, we, we, we've seen huge demand for travelling to Cherry Blossom next year on one of our tours. And in fact, a couple of months ago, we actually got to a point where Cherry Blossom 2023 was sold out. Don't panic, mm. we've been working really closely with our partners in Japan to put on even more tours to get as many people as possible out there to experience it. So we do have tours on sale for Cherry Blossom 2023, but they are filling up very fast. So if you are wanting to wait for the Cherry Blossom and travel next year, um, you know, don't delay. So Kate, the billion dollar question, what can we expect from a tour in Japan with Wendy Wu Tours? Well, we are the UK's number one tour operator to Japan. So, um, you know, this is a country that we know incredibly well. And of course, we're going to take you to all of the main sites and all the things that are on your Japan bucket list. But we also absolutely pack our tours with quite unique experiences that we're really proud of. So whilst you're on your tour of Japan, you're really going to be able to immerse yourself in the culture. You're going to be able to try cookery classes. You're going to be able to try your hand at some of the ancient Japanese traditions, whether it's arts, music related. So get some really unique experiences that you simply wouldn't be able to get if you were not traveling with the Wendy Wu tour. Mm. Sounds amazing, absolutely amazing Kate and, and ladies and gentlemen, you know, hearing that you can really see, isn't that what we've missed 
you know, last two years not being able to travel, open again now, we have this opportunity to, to live and experience again. Absolutely, you know, it is something that I think we've all missed and now that the borders are open, I think, you know, many of us are just keen to travel, um, to, to have these experiences and, and to really make the most of life and, and make the most of being able to travel again and being able to get out there and do something completely different. Now, Kate, I've heard that you've won some pretty amazing travel awards recently. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, you can see just a selection of these awards behind us here. Now, Kate, that has got to say something about the quality and, and what's included on your tours. Absolutely, Andy. Um, we've recently been at the uh, Travel Industry Globe Awards where we were awarded the Best Specialist Tour Operator. Um, and that's actually the 12th year in a row that we've won that award. And we also took away the award for Best Premium Tour Operator. So, you know, these are awards that we're incredibly proud of because I know everybody here at Wendy Ruth Tours and our partners out in our destinations, you know, they work so hard to make sure that our tours really are, um, you know, the, the best possibly, uh, the best possible itineraries and the best quality that they can be. So let me tell you a little bit more about the tours, Andy, because um, I've told you about the experiences that we pack in, but the other thing that we're really proud of is our national escort. So every single one of our tours is led by a national escort. They're going to be your tour guide while you're travelling around. And they're the people that um, we do hear from our customers have really made their trip extra special. Um, these uh, national escorts are obviously incredibly knowledgeable about their country, incredibly proud and keen to show you not just the, 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 the big sites, but also the hidden gems, places that are a bit off the beaten track. And they're so knowledgeable and passionate about their country. They really do make those uh, tours extra special. The other thing that we're really proud of is that our tours are fully inclusive. And that means that, you know, traveling on a Wendy Woo tour is a really easy, straightforward way to travel. So it takes the stress away. Um, once you've booked your tour, that includes your flights from wherever you live in the UK. It includes your accommodation. It includes all of your meals, including, you know, the special dining experiences that we've arranged. It includes all your activities, um, all your sightseeing, your visas. So mm. everything is taken care of for you. Um, and so it, it really means that you can just relax and uh, enjoy the whole tour from start to finish. So ladies and gentlemen, solo traveling is huge. I myself, I do enjoy traveling solo. Um, the experiences and, and the people that you meet along the way, it really is a, a great experience. And Kate, I've got to ask you about solo traveling and Wendy Wu tours. Do these tours cater for solo travelers or is it literally all just about being one big group? They absolutely do, Andy. And in fact, um, we found that about 30% of our customers do choose to travel solo. Um, we've got a few options. So if you are booking as a solo traveler, you either have the choice to join one of our dedicated solo departures. And if you join one of those tours, you'll know that everybody else who's in the group is also a solo traveler. Or you can book onto one of our regular group tours where you'll find a mix of couples, friends, and perhaps some other solo travelers as well. So the choice is yours, but whichever one you choose, you can rest assured that you're going to um, be traveling with a group of you know, like-minded individuals, and you're gonna have such incredible experiences that are gonna give you so much in common, so many memories that you'll have shared, that um, we find lots of our customers really do make lifelong friends on our tours, and they meet people who they then stay in touch with for many years to come, and you know, some of our customers even then continue to meet up and travel with the friends that they made on their Wendy Woo tours. Fantastic. Kate, sounds amazing. Thank you so much for your, for your time today. And ladies and gentlemen, you'll appreciate with me that it has been too long. We can't wait to get back to Japan now. And our guides are ready and super excited to welcome you back again. 
Speaking of which, we have something very special for you right now. As we are unable to take you to Cherry Blossom this year, well, at Wendy Wouters, they can do extraordinary things. We're bringing Cherry Blossom right to you. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, be prepared. Here are our fantastic guides out and about in Japan amongst this year's Cherry Blossom, coming to you now, live from Japan. Welcome to Japan in Cherry Blossom season. My name is Sakano and we take care of Wendy Wu Tours customers here in Japan. This really is one of the most wonderful time to be in this country and it is a time of huge excitement. This season is especially moving for us as last year lockdown restrictions meant we were very limited on where and how we could enjoy the blossoms. We are so sorry you cannot be with us in person this year, but we hope to welcome you very soon. And we hope this gives you just a taste of how beautiful Japan is at this time of the year. The season officially begins in spring, when the flowers bloom on the cherry trees at Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo. Depending on where you are in Japan and when the local blossoms sprout, Hanami occurs anywhere between March and May. In general, it begins to bloom in the south of Japan from end of March, sweeping through Tokyo and Kyoto in April, then ends in the north around early May. If you want to travel from the south to the north of Japan, you can follow the path of cherry blossoms blooming throughout the country. The formal practice of flower blossom viewing stretches back into the mist of time. But even by 1200 years ago, the Japanese imperial court were recorded as enjoying hanami or cherry blossom viewing. The practice was taken up by the samurai class, reflecting their acceptance of life's impermanence and had become popular amongst common people by the 17th century. Sakura has been celebrated in pottery, paintings, and even songs, and has been planted widely for hundreds of years meaning today no country on earth can label Japan for the breadth and variety of its cherry blossom season. So we are now at Senzoku Ike Park. The cherry blossom is one of the prominent images throughout Japanese culture. For many Japanese, cherry blossoms have been deeply rooted in their daily life, such as traditional literature, uh, pottery and art. In addition, sakura is also blended in our daily life which we can find it from the Japanese foods and drinks such as sakura kit cut, sakura cocktails, sake and rice cake to our local currency of 100 yen coin and many more. Cherry blossoms also symbolize a time of renewal and hopes as it's the same season as graduations and entrance ceremonies at Japanese schools. In Japan, cherry blossom season is a time to celebrate. The Japanese word hanami means flower watching and hanami is a nationwide tradition and also a very much hot topic. We have specific cherry blossom weather focus to focus on the blooming status, the best time and location of viewing. People take time off together with colleagues, friends and families for a day to see the flowers. It is custom for hanami to be accompanied by a picnic or barbecue, complete with sake and lots of tasty seasonal foods. We do not need a special reason to party. Just celebrate the beauty of nature and gather together for food, drink, laughs, love and friendship while the sakura are in bloom. Even at night, viewing spots are crowded with people enjoying the blossoms in a beautiful romantic atmosphere. We hope you have enjoyed the hanami virtually before your next visit to Japan. We are all on behalf of Wendy Wu Tours to welcome you to Japan in the next cherry blossom seasons. We promise it will be an unforgettable experience of seeing the cherry blossoms in person. We can't wait to welcome you to Japan very soon. 
And so, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it's time for our virtual tour. We are going now to Peter Crane, Head of Global Product here at Wendy Reuters, for a journey on Japan Uncovered, which is Wendy Reuters' most popular Japan tour. Peter. Hello, my name is Peter Crane. I'm Product Director here at Wendy Reuters. And it's my pleasure to welcome you in this cherry blossom season to one of our favorite destinations in the world, Japan. Whether you visit Japan in March or April for the springtime cherry blossom season, or choose to travel in the equally spectacular autumn leaves season in September and October, when Japan's famous ornamental gardens are arguably at their very best, Japan is the destination that apparently has it all, a quite extraordinary history and cultural traditions like no other, exquisite art and exquisite architecture. Sensational food, where every mouthful seems designed to offer up a different taste, and landscapes that are famous the world over, including this site, the iconic and perfectly symmetrical silhouette of Mount Fuji, Japan's highest point and regarded by many as its spiritual heart. So today I'd like to introduce you to the most popular of our 11 escorted group tours in Japan. This is a 17 day tour called Japan Uncovered, which in our view will show you the very best this country has to offer in a two week holiday. Starting in Osaka, the tour takes in the cultural highlights of Nara, Miyajima and Kyoto, then heads north to the Japanese Alps and uh, where we experience the beauty of the rural landscapes of Kanazawa, Takayama and Nagano before exploring the equally spectacular region around Mount Fuji and ending the tour at Tokyo, a capital city like no other. We travel mainly by coach, um, following the, the normal Wendy Wu policy of allowing 1.5 seats per passenger uh, and occasionally by bullet train as well, as I'll describe. The tour is escorted by a driver and a national guide whose job it is to take care of you and all the logistics of the tour from organizing the excursions, the meals and everything else. The tour is fully inclusive, so you don't have to worry about paying extra for meals, for excursions or any of the many other activities included in the tour. We start in Osaka, Japan's third largest city with a reputation for its flamboyance, its fun-loving people, and most of all, for its food. The street food here is out of this world, with local specialities like okonomiyaki, a Japanese-style savory pancake made from shredded cabbage, green onion, and often added pork and other seafood fillings. From Osaka, we visit nearby Nara, the first recognized capital of Japan with no less than eight UNESCO listed historical sites. And also this place pictured here, Osaka Castle, built in 1583 in a lovely hilltop location overlooking the whole city of Osaka. The following day, we drive west to Himeji Castle. This castle is older still, it dates back to 1333. Of all the castles in Japan, this must be the most impressive for its size and for its beauty. Locally, it's known as the White Heron Castle, and the lines of the architecture, along with its painted white exterior, do make it feel as light as a bird taking off. On a more sombre note, we pause at Hiroshima to reflect on the devastation caused by the first atomic bomb in August 1945, but also to admire the way the city has since been rebuilt and now thrives as the leading city in southwestern Japan. From Hiroshima, we visit the nearby island of Miyajima and the lovely Itsukushima Shine Trine with its very famous floating Tori Gate. Now, a highlight of any tour to Japan is to travel by bullet train at speeds of up to 320 kilometers an hour or 200 miles per hour. On this tour, we use the bullet train to reach Kyoto the cultural heart of Japan. Kyoto was the capital city for over 1,000 years and still home 
to many of Japan's most iconic traditions, such as the custom of the geisha, the wearing of the kimono, and the very precise rituals of the tea ceremony. All of these we'll experience during our time in Kyoto. Kyoto is also home to the highest density of shrines and temples anywhere in Japan. For example, the stunning but minimalist Kinkakuji Temple, also known as the Golden Temple, set in its tranquil gardens and surrounded by water to show off the golden reflections. Perhaps the most spiritually evocative place we visit in Kyoto is the Fushimi Inari Shrine. It's in a beautiful setting with 10,000 vermilion, vermilion painted Tori gates. These gates represent the, the journey from the everyday world into the spiritual world. Driving north, we come to Kanazawa and visit Kenro Kenrokuen. This is one of the so-called three great gardens of Japan. These traditional Japanese gardens are designed very specifically to combine plants, rock and water to create simple and clean lines for the eye to enjoy, reflecting tranquility and peaceful contemplation. Next, we venture into the Japanese Alps. This is a mountainous belt that stretches right across Japan's main island, Honshu, from east to west. And we drive first to the town of Takayama, pausing along the way to explore this town pictured here, Shirakawagu, with its traditional 300-year-old thatched farmhouses. As you see from the picture, the pitch of the farmhouse roofs is very steep, and this is because this is one of the snowiest regions in the whole of Japan where normally in a normal winter, they'd expect 10 meters of snowfall. We stay nearby at Takayama, a traditional mountain town with many of its Edo period buildings still built and still upright and still intact. And this area here, Takayama, is also famous for its beef. Um, it's said to be the best beef in Japan, possibly in the world. The cattle is reared in the local area, in the pristine mountain wet meadows and uh, for that reason is, is absolutely delicious and we'll definitely get a chance to try it. We also visit the nearby 16th century Matsumoto castle. This is known as the Crow due to its very dark wooden exteriors. Now this more rural region of Japan is also perfect for getting close to some of Japan's deep-rooted traditions. We visit, for example, a miso house to learn about how to make miso paste, the staple ingredient in Japanese cuisine. We also go to a wasabi farm, pictured here, to learn about how wasabi is produced. Plus, we learn how to make washi paper in the traditional Japanese way. And we visit a samurai house to learn the culture and customs of the samurai. From Nagano, the city that hosted the 1998 Winter Olympics, we make a side trip to visit the Japanese macaques, best known as the snow monkeys at Yudanaka, bathing in their hot springs. These are the most northern dwelling of all the monkey species in the world and can only manage in these climates because of the thermal springs. These snow monkeys are famous for their intelligence. They've learned not only how to stay warm in the thermal waters, but also how to wash their food before eating it, they sometimes even roll snowballs just for fun. From the Japanese Alps, we head south to Mount Fuji, Japan's highest mountain at 3,776 meters. This iconic mountain is intimately connected with so many aspects of Japan's history, its culture and its identity. We spend a full day in the area with a cable car ride from Hakone and a boat trip on Lake Ashi, both with lovely views of the mountain and the surrounding landscapes. Finally, the tour ends at Tokyo, with two full days to take in the best of the city. Few other places combine the ultra-modern and the ancient so effortlessly as Tokyo. We visit the 634 metre high Tokyo Skytree, the tallest tower in the world and the second tallest building in the world, with stunning views out across the city in all directions. We also walk over the iconic Shibuya crossing, 
symbol of modern Tokyo and where up to 3,000 pedestrians can cross the road simultaneously. But there's time too to visit old Tokyo. For example, the Sensoji Temple, pictured here, which dates right back to the 7th century. This is the oldest and most sacred site in the city. So that brings us to an end of the Japan Uncovered Tour. Because the tour is so varied and so comprehensive, it has become our most popular tour to Japan, as I said. Some of the departures in autumn this year and spring next year are already full or close to full. Just to remind you, the tour is 17 days long, it's fully inclusive and costs from £6,690 per person. So all that remains for me is to say thank you very much for your time today and to wish you all a happy Sakura or happy cherry blossom season. Thank you and goodbye. So ladies and gentlemen, as I said at the beginning of today's travel show, we are looking at Japan and the cherry blossom, the magnificent Sakura, which we have seen a lot of today and doesn't it look amazing? But ladies and gentlemen, equally as extraordinary, equally as magnificent is the Japan autumn colors. And we're gonna take you there now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as the UK's number one specialist tour operator to Japan, Wendy Wu Tours have an immense collection of tours to this amazing country. So, here again is Kate Rowe to take us through some of the most popular tours in Japan. Hello everyone. So, Japan Uncovered, as you've heard, is a really wonderful tour, which focuses on all of the highlights on the island of Honshu. But of course, as the number one tour operator to Japan, we don't just offer one tour. We actually have 11 tours to Japan, and they range from eight up to 21 days, taking in all the famous highlights, but also taking you to some off the beaten track wonders. You can choose to explore from Kyushu down in the south up to the north in Hokkaido. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more now about three of our other tours to Japan, which will show you a slightly different side of the country. The first tour is Japan and the Scenic South. And like Japan Uncovered, this tour takes in all the highlights of Honshu. So you'll visit Hiroshima, Kyoto and Tokyo, but it also explores the beauty of the lesser known island of Kyushu in the south, where you'll find active volcanoes, hot springs, and an island that has its own unique culture. This tour starts on the island of Kyushu, and we fly into Fukuoka. Well, Fukuoka is actually the closest port to mainland Asia, and it's geographically closer to Seoul than it is to Tokyo. It's always been a really cosmopolitan of Japanese cities. Whilst there, we're going to explore beautiful classical gardens, visit one of the country's most important shrines and enjoy a cruise on the Yanagawa River, which is just magical, especially if you're lucky enough to go in the spring when the banks are full of cherry blossom. 
You'll also visit the magnificent Kumamoto Castle, which is widely regarded as one of the three premier castles in Japan. Then you're off to see Mount Aso, a huge active volcano. It's spectacular, one of the largest craters in the world, and it's surrounded by other active volcanoes, so the views are really incredible. And from there, we head northeast to Beppu, which is one of Japan's most famous hot spring resorts. It's set between the ocean and volcanic mountains, and the area is home to more than 2,000 onsen, which are traditional spa resorts, and in fact will stay in a hotel with its own onsen facilities, so you'll all be able to enjoy a hot soak and soak away any aches and pains and tiredness. And from there, we move on to Honshu, the main island, and then we'll start to explore all of the delights of that island, which Peter has already told you about. The next tour to tell you about is Japan by Rail. Japan by Rail is our most comprehensive tour of Japan. It's a full 21 day tour, packed with sights, packed with experiences. You'll be traveling mainly by bullet train. And on this tour, you'll take in the highlights of all three of Japan's main islands, Kyushu in the south, Honshu and Hokkaido to the north. We'll start in the south, as on our last tour, flying into Fukuoka. We then visit both Nagasaki and Hiroshima, where you'll be able to visit some moving museums and also some beautiful gardens. We then move over to Honshu and take in all of the highlights that Peter talked about earlier. Kyoto, Osaka, Nara, Mount Fuji, Tokyo, but the time that you've got on this tour means you'll be able to see even more. We'll cruise on Matsushima Bay, we'll enjoy a tour of the Nikka Whiskey Factory, and then we'll move on to the island of Hokkaido in the far north. Now, Hokkaido is far more sparsely populated than the rest of the country. And again, it has its own unique culture and it's a part of Japan that few people visit. So it's a real treat. Now, Japan by rail is packed full of experiences and you will have so many opportunities to really immerse yourself in the culture. You'll get to try your hand at making momiji manju, which are little buns that look like maple leaves. You'll learn how to make sushi. You'll decorate your own sake cup to take home as a souvenir whilst learning all about the significance and the history of the drink. You'll witness traditional tea ceremonies. You'll enjoy a calligraphy lesson. You'll try your hand at fan painting. You'll try Zen meditation. The list goes on. Wendy Wu Tours loves to pack your tours full of these experiences. Remember, they're all included in your fully inclusive tour price and they really are exclusive once in a lifetime experiences. And finally, on to tour number three. If you want to really get off the beaten track and get under the skin of modern and historic Japan, then the tour for you is Offbeat Japan. Offbeat Japan is one of our go beyond tours. And that means you'll be traveling in a slightly smaller group. These tours are all about getting off the beaten track and having some quite unique experiences. Of course, on this tour, you will see the iconic highlights, Tokyo, Kyoto, Mount Fuji and so on. But this tour is really about immersing yourself in the culture. Japan itself has such a fascinating mix of the old and the new, the ancient traditions, and then the new modern world, the technology. In one day on this tour in Tokyo, we get to try our hand at the traditional art of taiko drumming. Then we go and visit the famous Meiji Shrine, and then we round the day off at a robot restaurant. The robot restaurant is completely unique and not to be missed when in Japan. There will be robots and dancing and lasers. It's quite a show. And there's other experiences too. So on this tour, you will learn to dress yourselves in a kimono. You'll be able to try origami and of course, witness a traditional tea ceremony in Kyoto. And wherever you go in Japan, if there's a regional dish, our guides will find you an opportunity to try it. One of the really special highlights on this tour is a visit to Koyasan. 
It's a very spiritual part of Japan and you'll get to spend the night in a 13th century guest house. You'll wake up early with the monks and join them for their morning prayer, listening to their chants. It's such a magical experience and such a special opportunity. So hopefully that's given you a little bit more information about some of our other Japan tours. You're spoilt for choice. And if you need any more help deciding which one's for you, give us a call and our reservations team will be able to answer your questions and help you find the tour that suits you best. I loved every minute of it. I decided I was going to see the world and this is the place to see. If you go on one of these tours, you make some great friends. Since the beginning of the tour to now, it's been absolutely fantastic, well organised, the itinerary has just been excellent. Couldn't have asked for more and everyone on the group has got on so well, we really gelled together and it was fantastic and Ken the guide has been amazing. We've had great hotels, a wonderful guide with Ken. It's a really good group. I'm a solo traveler and I usually look for solo travel specialists, but I got in with this group and we've meshed really nicely. We've had a wonderful time. The food has been tremendous and I've enjoyed every minute. Everything has been thought of. Everything has been considered. We've not really, we've not had to think. For nine days, all we've had to do is be where we're told to be at a certain time. And then we're taken away and shown the most wonderful thing. Yeah, totally brilliant. We've delivered more than my expectations. Um, Ken, our national tour guide, has, nothing has been too much trouble for him. So well organised by Wendy Wu. Um, brilliant tour, thoroughly recommended. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been fantastic to see you today and we hope that you've enjoyed your travels around Japan just as much as we have. It really has been quite extraordinary. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you will see a link on your screen. Just hit the link now and you'll be taken to our very special VIP travel lounge. And as I said earlier in the show, this is your opportunity to meet the Japan travel experts at Wendy Wu Tours. You can ask any question that you want to ask about travelling in Japan or travelling on any of Wendy Wu Tours escorted tours. The team are ready, they're waiting to hear from you and they can answer everything for you. So sit back, relax, enjoy the travel lounge and I'll see you again soon. We found Wendy Wu to be spot on from start to finish with all the actual interactions from the booking to the preparation for the trip to arriving at the airport it's been painless and faultless. Wendy Wu, they really do look after you. I've been on other tours before and um, yeah, Wendy Wu definitely includes sort of a lot more and makes it a lot easier. Um, I liked the idea of what Wendy Wu offered they have a, an excellent reputation. Um, so I looked at a number of other tour companies, but Wendy Wu seemed to be the best. Uh, everything being included is really important. Uh, it makes it very, very easy, uh, and you don't have to worry. I just felt confident that, um, that Wendy Wu would know, you know the best places to go and the best things to do, and uh, it's proved, proved so far on the trip, it's proved correct. I've been really impressed with not only um, right from the start when I uh, rang up to book, the people, the staff in the office were really helpful, um, just kind of organising things and um, making sure that we got all the right paperwork in. Our national escort was Lily. 
Uh, Lily's been fantastic, uh, so full of energy um, and so helpful. She calls us uh, Lily's family. She's always referring to us as Lily's family. Um, and I think she's really helped us actually bond as a group, which made the whole trip much more enjoyable. The Great War was extraordinary. Um, it genuinely brought tears to my eyes, looking out and seeing, understanding the history, and just seeing how it was built in inhospitable terrain um, across the mountain ridges. It was, it was awe-inspiring. Wendy Wu staff, the, the local guides, uh, our national guide Lily, they've been more than helpful on many occasions and they have done absolutely everything they can to ensure that, that we've had the trip of a lifetime. I am um, hugged a panda, which was an amazing experience and one that I will never forget. I recommend Wendy Wu tour to everybody and uh, tell them that uh, if they want to go to China, nobody better than Wendy Wu tour. I will recommend Wendy Wu. It's been a terrific experience with them. I've been very pleased. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'd recommend it to people that want to go on an adventure and a, a, you know, visit somewhere they'd now probably only see once. Um, but to see the authenticity rather than just the tourist highlights that you could see on the internet. I will certainly recommend uh, Wendy Wu tours when I go back to England. Um, in fact, I'm sure we'll be going on more Wendy Wu tours because we, we want to go to Vietnam uh, and other places and I'll see Wendy Wu do those tours. So we'll certainly be booking a game with Wendy Wu.